Hello everyone, today on the Doctor Who Guide I am super excited to be unboxing Doctor Who, the complete 13th series on DVD and Blu-ray. They've both arrived in the same package, so let's get unboxing today on the Doctor Who Guide, a community where it's all about helping each other grow our knowledge collection and connection with other Doctor Who fans. I'm your host Alex Patterson, and if you enjoy these kind of videos, definitely consider supporting us monthly over on Patreon.com and using the affiliate links in the description down below. Those don't cost you anything extra to use, but they really do help support us when you shop on sites like Amazon, Zavi, eBay, or Forbidden Planet. So thank you so much to everybody who's doing that. I really, really appreciate it. All right, let's get unboxing. Oh my gosh. All right, so here we go. Da, 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 da. Okay, so this is the Blu-ray. Oh my gosh, we'll set that off to one side. And this must then be the DVD. Oh my goodness. Both of them come with slip covers, which is really cool. I like them in that they help to protect the Blu-ray and DVD on the inside, but they do damage easily. Do be careful with them if you want to keep them in any sort of pristine condition. Let's open up the Blu-ray first. This promotional artwork looks absolutely stunning. That artwork is just so vibrant, so colorful. It's really one of my favorite designs for a season of Doctor Who. So this is what the front of the slipcase looks looks like. It's a two disc set. This is what the interior binding of the slipcase looks like. This is what the back of the slipcase looks like. You can pause and read it now. It's got a description of this release as well as a list of special features and credits and information down below. I do wish that this lined up better, but it is what it is. This is what the exterior binding of the slipcase looks like. We've got the 13th Doctor carried over from the artwork on the front there, the BBC and Doctor Who Flux logos, as well as the complete 13th series down below. All right, let's remove the slipcase. All right, so here it is unsealed. Again, beautiful. This is what the exterior binding looks like. We have the same image of the Doctor, the logos, and the Complete 13 series there. This is what the back of the Blu-ray looks like. All right, let's open it up and take a look at the discs. Okay, so there's no individual disc art, but that's pretty typical for the US releases. They've carried over the beautiful artwork from the front for both of these discs. So let's take a look. Here we have disc one. It has chapter one, the Halloween apocalypse, chapter two, the war of the Centaurans, chapter three, once upon time, and extras. This is what disc two looks like. It has chapter four, village of the angels, chapter five, survivors of the flux, and chapter six, the vanquishers, as well as extras. So there you have it. That is Doctor Who flux, the complete 13th series on Blu-ray, comes with two discs and a slipcase. No art cards like the UK set comes like, but that's not a surprise. So there you have it. Let's take a look at the DVD. This is what the front of the DVD slipcase looks like. I absolutely love this artwork. It's so colorful, so bright, so saturated. This is what the exterior binding looks like. Up at the top, we have the 13th Doctor carried over from the artwork on the front, the BBC Doctor Who and Flux logos, the complete 13th series, and three discs inside, as opposed to the Blu-ray set, which has them all on two discs. This is what the back of the slipcase looks like. This is what the interior binding looks like. It's the same as the other side. So that is the slipcase. Let's take the DVD out and have a look. All right, so here is the DVD all sealed. Let's open it up. All right, so this is what the front of the DVD looks like. We have three discs inside, and this lovely artwork looks great on DVD. This is what the binding of the DVD looks like. Then on the back, we have more information about this release up top, a beautiful promotional image of the 13th Doctor. We have four pictures from the season included, as well as a list of special features and more information about this release. Here we have all three discs on a spindle here. Disc one has chapter one, the Halloween apocalypse, chapter two, war of the Centaurans, and extras included. Disc two has chapter three, once upon time, and chapter four, village of the angels, plus extras. And disc three has chapter five, survivors of the flux, and chapter six, the vanquishers, as well as extras. A lot of these special features can be found on the official YouTube channel, but it is nice to have what's on the YouTube channel available on DVD. 300 minutes approximate region one color anti sc with english subtitles so there you have it that's flux the complete 13th series on dvd with slipcase there aren't any art cards unlike the uk set but that's pretty typical of us sets to not have that many extras or any at all so i'm really really pleased to have both of these in the collection i ordered these both straight from amazon.com this release was scheduled to come out on february 15th and i got the dvd and blu-ray 
tape delivered both on the same day by around about 6 p.m. The DVD was $24.79 and the Blu-ray was $29.99. For getting these releases brand new, that's a pretty standard price. This is now what my Doctor Who Flux collection looks like. We have the UK Steelbook, the US Blu-ray, and the US DVD. This is what the 2022 US Doctor Who collection looks like. We have the Web of Fear Special Edition DVD, came out on February 1st, the Complete 13th series on Blu-ray and the DVD came out on February 15th. The next releases for the US are the Galaxy 4 Blu-ray, scheduled to come out on April 5th, as well as the Tom Baker Complete Season 6, which was scheduled to come out on May 10th, but is now scheduled to come out on April 5th, so we'll see which of those dates proves true, and I'm guessing we'll be able to expect an Eve of the Daleks DVD and Blu-ray release in the coming months, so that's exciting. All right, so here is my complete 13th Doctor US DVD collection. We've got the complete 11th series, Resolution, the complete 12th series, Revolution of the Daleks, and the complete 13th series. I can't wait to have Eve of the Daleks as well. Presumably they'll release that on DVD and Blu-ray as well. Comment down below if you've ever seen a copy of Resolution that comes with a slipcase, because so far it's the only one to not come with a slipcase, and that kind of bugs me. Uh, and I hope that I just haven't ended up with a release that doesn't have it. So this is what the complete 13th Doctor DVD collection looks like so far. I'm so excited to have it complete. And here we have the complete 13th Doctor collection on Blu-ray. I do wish they had used the same color of Blu-ray logo on the side. You could arrange it with the specials lining up kind of nicely. I don't know why they have the BBC logo on Resolution but not on Revolution, so it doesn't really line up other than the images on the side with this golden border, which does look nice. So excited to have the complete US DVD and Blu-ray collection for the 13th Doctor with the complete 11th series, Resolution, the complete 12th series, Revolution of the Daleks, and the complete 13th series, as well as the complete 13th series Steelbook from the UK. I really enjoyed watching Flux with my family. I thought the effects were really stunning, and I thought that the entire plot was very compelling up until the final hour. That last chapter really felt rushed. I absolutely think Village of the Angels is the Weeping Angel follow-up that we never thought we would have from Blink. I thought that that cliffhanger was one of the best Doctor Who cliffhangers of all time, and that episode was really, really good. I think that was probably my favorite, and even though the Centaurans were still rather comical, they were at least fighting wars again and being kind of scary, which was nice. And I thought the villains were very intriguing. There were just kind of too many of them. I loved seeing Kate Stewart back. That was amazing, but I just kind of thought it all wrapped itself up a bit too quickly, but other than that, really exciting stuff to find out about the Division and the Doctor's past, and we still have some questions left to answer, so I'm excited to see how that kind of ties up, because we can't really judge this whole story arc without seeing how it ends. Loved Eve of the Daleks, that was really fun. I really enjoyed it, a real blast to watch that one, and I'm super excited for Legend of the Sea Devils, because I love the Sea Devils. So yeah, comment down below with your thoughts on Flux, and please include at least one thing you liked about it because at the end of the day if there wasn't you need to go back and watch it again because it wasn't that bad thanks so much for watching stay safe wear a mask keep growing your knowledge collection and connection with other doctor who fans albert the adipose says hello and we both hope to see you in the next video bye